What is happening? Welcome to another Pitch Video Breakdown. My name is Nick Pollock, founder of PitcherList.com, and yes, I have brought out the vintage PitcherList shirt. This is from, I think, 2017 or something like that, 2018, when we were PitcherList 3.0. We're up to PL7 now. But uh, if you want this, reach out to me. You can go to shop.pitcherlist.com for all of our merch. We got a lot of fun stuff. But we're going to watch Spencer Strider. What a what a beautiful thing this is. Spencer Strider finally made into the rotation. Uh, this is his fourth start that we have seen in a row here. And uh, yeah, those first two starts where it was a limited pitch count, they went to cores, then he dominated the Pirates. And we didn't know if he'd be able to continue that against the Nationals. The number one thing for me with Spencer Strider is strike rate. His four-seamer, I want to see above a 65% strike rate with the slider, same thing. Just even above 60% with that slider would be good. We saw 67% on the fastball yesterday and then 68 on the slider. And I think that's a major reason why he had success. So let's just watch this second inning. And there's something very special about this inning that I'll make it pretty apparent later. So he's trying to get some free real estate. And he does just a little bit of free real estate. I think... Hopefully, it's Josh Bell and how large this man is that this is a high strike. I mean, this is this is up. You know, he got it. It made it work. Not exactly what he wanted to do, but it worked. Uh, he tries to go fastball away here, and I've seen this a decent amount of uh, right-handers. We've been watching guys a lot the past couple days. I've, I'm seeing a lot of right-handers want to focus on this instead of this. And this is safer, right? Because if you make a mistake, you know, either goes that way, which isn't so bad, or this way, and that's just a ball, right? But if you miss with this, you're going to go into the guy, right? Or, I mean, this isn't so bad. So this is way worse than that. And that's why you see, I think, guys go over here. But that's actually just generally less effective. I uh, This is where you jam batters. And if you miss down here, well, that's where they can drive it to left field. They can uh, they can sell out and barrel it a lot easier. So with his velocity, I'm a little surprised that he does that, but maybe that's a thing of control. Uh, good adjustment there. You know, From going from down, coming back up, it's a way. I'm a little surprised that, that Bell swung at this, considering it's off the plate, but it's really close. And I understand how tough that is. If he's missing on that, though, you throw another fastball, if you ask me. Oh, no, he threw a slider. <laughs> so Josh Bell is so messed up timing-wise at this point. You know, he's trying to gear up for 98 and just whiffed on that. That's probably in his head. Uh, I think that's kind of you do whatever you want, and Josh Bell loses at that point. He couldn't hit the fastball. Now that's all that he's thinking about. You throw a slider that's just whatever. It's in the zone. Like, he can't hit this one more time. Just Nope. Terrible swing, bad timing, the whole thing is off. And good job on Strider, just throwing a strike. That's all you need to do, you know? Yeah, look at that, 12, or almost 13. Uh, there's 98, and it's down. And I think this is what's going on right now with, at least with Reese here. They're all thinking, like, okay, he throws really hard, and it's super difficult to catch up to it. So we're just going to be aggressive and try and gear up for that fastball on the first pitch. Because normally you don't really see that kind of swing on it. But it is maybe in the wheelhouse for a lefty. So, all right. So he's trying to catch up to that. Throw, throw a breaking ball, probably. Now, they're trying to do that up and away. And, yeah, that was an easy take. So, there is that slider. And that's a really good spot. Because he's thinking this is a fastball that's going to land here. And instead, that breaker just, nope. Underneath the bat pretty easily. I mean, ideally, you want to get a little bit more out of the zone. Just to risk a guy that can slow down his bat enough just to then drop it and then you know, this is in the range of where you could theoretically drop the bat and knock it into right field but the timing is so off and it's not easy to do that and that will more often than not work what do you throw now uh i mean he's showcasing he wants to swing at a heater he just completely whiffed on the slider i would probably throw another slider personally but it looks like they're setting up a way which would then make me think it's going to be an up and away fastball and he throws it down the middle. So this is a mistake here. Maybe he's got a gift. This is uh, this is 100 in a hittable area. And I will say this does emphasize the uh, the philosophy I'm having of getting this inside here. Because you would think, oh yeah, right. As I'm saying, hittable area. He's so late on it. So this pitch is actually over here. I think Ruiz hits this to left field. But because you have to act quicker... When it's inside, then it is away. It's fouled off. So, 
if this pitch were either up here, this would be a whiff. This would have been a hit. And this is a foul ball. Right? The higher up you get, the later you're going to be. The more away you are, the earlier you're going to be. Okay? Cool. Glad we established that. Uh, <laughs> good job, Ruiz. I'm laying off that one. This is just too high. I mean, it's that simple. You just got to get this lower. Uh, but, I mean, you could go with a breaking ball now. You have them all sped up. Yep, there it is. Can't hit it. <laughs> He's all sped up. That's great. That's wonderful. You know, I mean... This along the edge, I think Spencer Strider is just trying to do what he's trying to do against Josh Bell, just get in the zone. And that's all I care about, really, when it comes to Strider's slider. He's not going to be this pristine command guy. But as long as he lives in the zone enough and makes guys actually have to do something with it, that's the problem. Stuff is really high. Command isn't as much. But just be in the zone. And that's what makes him a little bit volatile, in my view, because I, I don't think this is an innate skill set that Strider has that I can confidently believe he's going to have that 65% plus strike rate every time. Because this, I mean, this is really close. This isn't him trying to hit the edge here. This is him just trying to throw a slider in the zone, and he just got it in enough. So, keep throwing the fastball. That's what I would do. And it's a wild miss. That's This is not a... This is not like an in-control miss. That is an erratic miss. Right? For strike one, you don't want to throw anything close to this. You want to maybe, you know, you're just trying to be like, get me anywhere. Just don't be like here. But even if it's there, this guy ain't going to hit it. You throw 100, dude. <laughs> and it's not like a hittable Hunter Green 100. 99 at the top of the zone, you should have gotten that one. Uh, but because he had to reach so far, he didn't get the call. Oh, man. Come on. Get it together, Strider. Just throw a strike. Good job. You think that was a walk? You think that was a walk? This is like... Come on, man. That's so obviously not ball four. And at 3-0, when umpires will expand the zone, no way. Good, 99. Do it again. This guy doesn't want to hit. Just throw, throw a fastball. Oh, he threw a slider. Oh, nice. <laughs> Surprising. He struck out all three guys on sliders. And I wonder if that's more of a product of his fastball... You know, uh, going out of the zone so much that uh, that he got into himself into accounts that were deeper, so he needed to change things up a bit. He didn't have to do that. He, I, honestly, I think Strider, because you made the adjustment to get from 3-0 to 3-2, I personally would have thrown a fastball because, cool, I know how to throw a strike with this now, and this guy can't hit it. He doesn't want to swing. He tried and missed. He tried to walk the first. Didn't, you know. I would just say, cool. I know I can throw a strike for a fastball now. It's gutsy to throw that slider. I mean, it worked. I'm glad it did. But, yeah, your command has been a little bit weird. So, uh, good stuff there from Strider. I mean, yeah, the second you throw that, you, you're strutting off. You know that's going to work. <laughs> and that's Spencer Strider. It's like a it's electricity in a can. You know, and you're hoping to contain it. Hopefully that stays there. But there will be some volatility. I mean, you saw inside of these at-bats. He struck out the side. And you can look down on paper like, oh, my God, he struck out the side. But you guys see how erratic it can be. And hopefully he can contain it as best as he can. But all right, that's today's pitch video breakdown. As always, please subscribe and hit the bell. Make sure you don't miss any of these. Give a like, leave a comment, all of that stuff. Um, helps me out a ton. Easy for you guys to do. But that's going to do it. So my name is Nick Pollock. And may your babs be low and your strikeouts high.